Hello everybody, this is Redonk, and I am stepping in to help Veetster with a review as he is fighting the T-Virus and decided you guys didn't want to hear him hack up a lung in the middle of his review of a new game for a Nintendo Switch called The Way. The Way was originally released on Steam on May 20th of 2016. The game came out with mixed reviews and caught the attention of some players for its nostalgic throwback to Another World and Flashback. The game took a lot of cues from those games that had struggles with its initial release. The Way has been remastered and has had some major improvements for its release on Nintendo Switch. The developer has enhanced the game's graphics considerably, changed the game and level designs based on feedback that was provided from the original game. The developer has added a music player and HD rumble to support the game. The story for The Way starts out quite dark as you're standing in a graveyard on a dark and rainy night. Your first objective is to dig up a body at a grave and take it back home where you put it into a chamber. The body is of your wife and you dig her up in hopes to bring her back to a planet that you had explored previously that might have a way of bringing her back to life. The journey takes you through a mysterious planet with alien beings as you try to discover the true secrets of the planet and hope that they lead you to the powers that you need. But before I finish the rest of this review, I wanted to take a quick moment to remind you that if you like the video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel to get updates when new videos are uploaded, and visit us at our website at www.redonkulousgaming.com for more game news, and follow us on Twitter at Redonk Gaming. All information can be found below in the description. The gameplay in The Way revolves around platforming and puzzle solving. You explore the planet by jumping on from platform to platform and strategically moving from level to level to avoid the local flora and fauna that is out to kill you. You are armed with weapons to help you navigate through these challenges and must strategically use them to survive. Puzzles riddle the game and you must use your wits and sense of observation to solve the puzzles or find the missing pieces to solve the puzzles. The game also includes bosses, but not in the traditional sense. These bosses are reminiscent of bosses found in Another World, aka Out of This World in the US, where you can outmaneuver and trick the bosses into traps and not really fight them per se. The Way's story is extremely mesmerizing and gut-wrenching as you try to save the love of your life and you fight against all odds to do it all by yourself. The studio adds memories which start at the budding of the relationship and slowly adds character and life to the relationship as you progress through the game. The boss battles are a definite adrenaline rush. I found myself casually landing down to the next level and suddenly being surprised by a giant monster that I needed to outrun. Except my first instinct was to turn around and shoot the beast and then get maimed or mauled by said beast. The chase sequences were long enough but not too long that you got frustrated by it if you didn't time things right and you ended up dying. The game was extremely fun with the multi-tiered sequential puzzles. They made you think of what you needed to do first, and then built slowly to help you get to your final end game. I really enjoyed the variety of puzzles that the studio put into the game, so it didn't feel like I was doing the same puzzles again and again. Even with all the positives of the way, there were still some issues with the game. The mechanics and controls matched those found in Another World, and this was a problem because there were some very precise jumps that really would have benefited from a more fine-tuned control scheme. The clunky controls were a considerable drawback when you were trying to drop down levels and not fall too far and die. The aiming mechanic with the gun was also an issue. There were times where you had to shoot multiple flora or fauna in a row and you would struggle to line up shots properly. This was a huge issue as some of the flora just would not die and instead became incapacitated and you still had a small window to move through. When you only have 7 shots and 6 plants to shoot and need to shoot them down in pairs to move forward, this becomes frustrating because undoubtedly you would take way too long to re-aim and one of the original plants would respawn and kill you. I did find one bug in the game, and of course by me I mean Beatster, which has been reported to the developer, which caused the game to reboot and reset my game entirely. This was extremely frustrating as I had already gotten two hours in and had to start all over again. Finally, the game has no replayability. Once you beat the game and all the puzzles, you won't really need to play the game again. Way Remastered will just be one of those games that you beat and then you put down for the next 5-10 to 10 years. And then, out of nowhere, you'll decide to pick it back up and play out of nostalgia and also because you've simply forgotten everything about the game in that amount of time. However, the challenge and beautiful story that this game weaves cannot be overshadowed by the flaws that were pointed out. Redonkulous Gaming gives the way a solid 9 out of 10 rating, and we highly recommend it to Switch players out there everywhere.